Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back playing cash games, playing 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Button opens, defend threes here, flop the set, 9-8-3, lovely. Uh, checks through, unfortunately, 5 in the turn will bet. Uh, get raised here, the set just going to be a call. I, I mean, 7-6 comes in, pocket 5's obviously hit a set, but I think he's going to raise those a lot. I bet there's a lot on the flop. 10 river here. Obviously, we're pretty high in a range. I can't see any way that we'd be folding this one, particularly with the backdoor clubs missing. Queen jack comes in, but like I said, it's played here. And he has aces. All right, so too bad he didn't bet the flop there. We could put up a check raise. Probably won a big pot. Feels like we lost some. Didn't win the whole pot there. All right, cut off open. Three betting kings from the big blinds. See the call, uh, queen 10-5, we'll start with a bet here. Calls deuce in the turn. Think about setting up check jam or just betting myself again. I go for check jam. They over bet jam, that's scary versus the size versus them, but we're calling as we played it. They have jack eight of spades and we fade the draw. That's a the spade draw in the gutter. Kings are good. Hijack open, through betting small face king. See the four bets. Um, I think we're mainly just jamming out of position for 100 blinds. So we'll jam it in here. See the call is queens, we're gonna have to flip. Good start, we get the ace. Oh, queen on the turn, it's so painful. That is, it drives me nuts when that happens, like when you hit it on the flop and then they just like hit the two outer on the turn. Like just don't, don't, don't let me hit the ace or the king to begin with. All right, open ace jack, get three bet. Could go either way, I'm gonna play as a flat this time. So either way between four bet and flat. Uh, huge flop, flop top two. Uh, it's a board, I don't know if I have a ton of check raises on. We are gonna raise this time though. Or on the turn. I think we just overbet rip here. It's played. I guess our draws would play that way, so we'll play our jams. I think you'd probably have to call off like ace, king, king, queen. Or not king, queen. We don't want to have king, queen, sorry. But we'll jam it in here for about pot and a half. I think this is okay uh, with no draws additionally coming in. So I was like ace, king, ace, queens probably just have to call here because there's flush draws out there. Um, if I had a flush draw, like say I had king nine suited or something like that, I'd want to try to maximize. So we end up jamming there. I'm not 100% sure that was right, but go for it. They fold. All right, open cutoff button, three bets. We'll flat here. Um, pretty big flop here. Flop bottom pair, open under, backdoor spades. Checks through. 10 on the turn, we'll bet. And quads on the river. Uh, I'm going to go big here on the end, trying to target exactly like King X. Also, if they have the queen, they might not believe that I would pot it on the river with the king. And there it is. Four of a kind at getting paid off with a jack-10. Uh, ooh, they had ace-king, yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. It definitely makes sense to check back that flop, especially when we're deep. And then there's just no way they can full turn a river's played, so... Makes sense. Makes sense. Cough open, small blind flat, squeezing ace jack suited here. See a call back to the small blinds. All right, heads up, we flop the nuts. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go small here. All right, they do raise, just call. Just call the nuts. Don't pair the board, please. Also, don't throw another dime. Not probably harder to get paid if another diamond comes off. Lean turn card check. They got 420 back, 312 in the middle. Could see him jam here. At least hopefully facing a big bet. Probably oh, jam when they have the nuts. Perfect. They have ace jack. Wow, we got him drawn dead. Ooh, another nice pot with the ace jack of diamonds. Alright, so I'm going to check back top pair here. That turn. And 
And then, ooh, I was going to say Czech River, not this river. So he leads small. And we are definitely raising. I don't think this is a line that he would take with a hand that beats us before. I mean, gosh, I hate this, but Jam Basket is capable of some wild stuff, so I think we have to call it a six. I would probably could find a full versus a lot of people here, but yeah, he's King Jack. A six scoops, massive hand there. Like I said, not a hand I, I'm not going to see 63 in the middle and then calling like 500 bucks more on the river very often. Uh, but against somebody like Jam Basket, who's very, very capable, he's one of the few people we probably just have to put the money in. All right, open kings, two calls, very good flop here. Ace, king, eight, flop, middle, set. We unblock top pairs. Start with a bet. Get a call, five on the turn. Definitely going to be an over bet spot. Uh, let's see, go to 80. Balls, 10 river. Uh, queen jack comes in, which isn't great. Both flush draws miss, though. So we'll pop the river here. They jam, I'm just going to be so upset. But snap call works for me. Kings are good. Kings good versus ace 10, so they river two pair. Small blind opens, call queen six suited here. Flop the open ender. Checks to us, we'll bet. See the call, turn the straight, love it. At half. All's pretty quick. Ace river. Nice river because the ace queen are actually chopping now. Uh, if we bet, I think it's big once we bet turn two. Targeting two pairs here. And it looks like we get paid. Nice. Queen six, going to scoop there. Good versus ace ten. So yeah, they had a flush draw and then river two pair. Button opens. We three bet, they call. Uh, going small here on the queen six five. They started only about 50 blinds deep. Jam's obviously calling, has king four clubs, so we gotta fade the club draw. Ah, oh, man. That's tilting, so we get them to put tons of money in with the hand that we have absolutely crushed. Unfortunately, I can't hold. Alright, so open aces, two calls. We've got small here. Use on the turn. That again. Eat river, and we'll pot it on the end. Oh, the five deuce gets us on the turn. We end up valuing ourselves. That's frustrating. All right. Small line limp, raise up the 10-9. Go for the limp call. That flop here. Uh, versus small raise, even though I have a spade, I have a middle pair I think we can call. Five on the turn, interesting card. Uh, definitely checking. Ugh, not a great river. Uh, just didn't want to see a spade or an ace, really. No queen or jack either, but definitely not the ace. Um, it's interesting because, like, do I think he value bets a king now? Probably not. <sighs> so it's like either like he has, he doesn't check a five. I don't think he checks a flush. Maybe he does? I don't know. Obviously the hand we're most worried about is like the ace of spades at this point, or the card. Um, let's see. Doesn't have a five, doesn't have a flush, I don't think. And I don't think would value better king. Uh Queen Jack comes in though, actually. That's a thing. Could maybe raise. And it's hard to find complete air balls that would just bluff flop, I guess. Yeah, and Queen Jack, it's yeah, I guess we can fold. All right, so cutoff open, we three bet. Small blind snap jams in 29 blinds here. Assuming mastermind folds will definitely be calling. All right, calling 105 to win 202. Has kings, that's no fun. Get a queen, we need more than that though. And unfortunately, lose the all in to the short stack. All right, YouTube, that's the end of our cash game session today and a good big winning session today it was. So played for about five hours at 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, 574 hands, profit of $1,718. In the 1-2 game, 1,405 hands, profit 858. Total profit plus 2,576. 
Ran pretty good all day here. A lot of the profit coming in the first two hours and kind of just held steady throughout the rest of the session. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.